I'm so tired of coming back to Yokohama every single week. It is so far and it is so annoying. So today we are speed running it. We're going to visit the most touristy places. And also th this place is honestly quite nice. Like I see why so many different events were happening here. We have seven hours to do seven attractions. Let's head out. Uh. First up, the soon to be closed Gundam factory. They also have their own sky tree. Ooh. Oh my God. Sadly, the tickets to see Gundam up close were sold out already. And if you want to see the Gundam move, there are very specific times to see that. 1650 yen and that's just the admission to get in here you pay extra to go at the top and the Gundam is also not moving because of high winds which uh, can happen and now to demonstrate the size difference you know I kind of thought this would be a bit bigger I would show you what's inside the Gundam cafe but there's uh, also a line here so we're not doing that so there's a huge line to the Gundam factory like inside the museum but there's no line to the Gundam shop. So we're just gonna head there instead. And it also doesn't cost any money unless we buy something from there. But it's mostly empty, so no worries in that regard. You also can take video inside, so uh, just be fine with the pictures, all right? What are pictures if not moving videos? Wait. We're currently waiting for the Gundam to start moving. This looks really cool. If it's a time lapse, that's sped up, but. Uh, if you're watching this in real time, it's also cool, just slightly less. This is the famous wall and the classic Gundam food trucks. You got the Gundam tapioca drink, the legendary Gundam naan, and the Gundam uh, Brazilian beer. Oh and since you've been asking for it, let's go to the Cup Noodles Museum next. And the special thing here is that you can actually make your own cup noodles, but you also have to reserve the time for it. So today, uh, everything's pretty much sold out until like uh, 5 p.m., 6 p.m. So if you want to make your own noodles, you have to think ahead a bit. But price-wise, it was only 500 yen per person. So this is like the cheapest museum we've been to yet. This is kind of epic. Kind of pog. Me eating noodles. God damn, I could do such an interesting edit with this. All right, get ready. This is the best my creativity can do here. Step number one overcome the stairs otherwise you can't enjoy the noodles step number two actually enter this is a regular sized human when compared to cup noodles he is seven and a half cup noodles in length this is jonathan c noodle the creator of cup noodles whenever i might think of giving up on my daily vlogs i'll just remember the cup noodle slogan never give up so you have some really cool information about cup noodles and how they were made and whatever, and the process. And then every now and then you just get a really abstract thing. This is so much better than I expected from a cup noodle museum. All right, so this is where you can make your own cup noodles. Oh, you're just coloring. I don't know why I expected you to actually like make noodles or different flavors, but you're just taking the cup and then coloring the cup. You also have a place for children. The cup noodle park. Look, I'm delivering cup noodles. I'm the official um, cup noodle tuk tuk delivery machine. <laughs> and next up, we're headed to the Yokohama Eye. It is not called the Yokohama Eye. Number three. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Number three. We're in Cosmo World. We're riding the Ferris wheel, the, the Yokohama Eye, as they call it, as I call it. View. Wow. Whoa, whoa. God damn. The motion is so jerky because it kept stopping every minute or so. But next, we're gonna go to the skies once again. Because next up, we're headed to the cable car, the, the Yokohama sky. The, the shit, the, the okay, I got it We are not going to Yokohama Air Cabin. Uh, the operation has been halted due to inspection. We're inspecting why we can't get on it. What the fuck? Tokyo, get on that shit. Oh, that's a dog. So this far, I'd rate the Gundam thing like a 6 out of 10 because I've never seen Gundam. It was a cool robot, but it was kind of lacking. I don't know. It was, it was cool. 
but it's not like unnecessary thing to do in Japan. The cup noodle factory was kind of cool. I'd say seven out of 10 because it was interesting. There was unique stuff to see there and it wasn't expensive. And the Cosmo Clock 21, I would rate uh, four out of 10 because it was, it was 900 yen, which isn't too expensive, but there literally wasn't anything to see. You could see uh, the sea and there were buildings on the other side. And that's, that's about it. This is where a train used to run and now it doesn't. I don't know anything else about this place. Look, I don't even have to do any work here. Just scan the QR code for yourself. But next, we're headed up that building to the Sky Garden. Pikachu vending machine. 1,000 yen per person. And it's an observation deck. Observatory. Observe these nuts. This is the fastest elevator in Yokohama. We're going up at 750 meters per minute. Mount Fuji. All right, this is my new favorite place to look down from. Balls. And most intense attraction in Yokohama. We're headed to the Ni Nissan headquarters. And of course, they have their own gift shop as well. Mm -hmm. Can even build your own car. You got cool cars cool things to see inside the cars, even games here, and a gift shop, and it's free. To the Nissan HQ, it's a 10 out of 10. If you're in Yokohama, you have to come here. But that's been it for the Nissan Museum and the Yokohama Speed Run. We didn't go to a couple places like the Capybara uh, Zoo and the Sea Museum, because they were pretty far, like an hour from Yokohama and two to three hours from each other. But I think we managed to do most of the things here. Let me know in the comments everything we missed and uh, what other city you want me to speedrun in the future.